stay tuned for a giveaway. Welcome to part 2 of the best glove knife combos for every agent in CS2. There are 63 total agents in the game, and in part 1 we covered all 34 T-sided agents. So that means today we're going to look at the best combos for all 29 CT agents. Now you might be thinking, but wait, aren't the arms of a bunch of the agents the exact same? And the answer is yes. So I went through all 29 CT sided agents and sorted them into 19 uniquely sleeved groups. I'll make sure to list every applicable agent for each group, as well as only fact factoring in the price of the cheapest one for the combo total. All prices will be based on third-party lowest listings according to Price Empire at the time of this recording. Enjoy. People are always asking me what the best marketplace is to buy and sell their skins on. Look no further because the answer is today's sponsor, GamerPay. GamerPay is the best peer-to-peer -peer skin trading website out there, and to prove it to you, they're even offering you a free 5 euros on your first 50 euro transaction. One cool feature they have is, on top of showing the GamerPay listing price, they also display the cheapest buff listing price for the item you're looking at so you can see how much of a discount you're actually getting. They also have a 0% buying fee and only a small 3% selling fee. So if you're looking for better prices than buff and 5 euros for free, sign up with my link in the description today. The first combo on this list is Special Agent Ava with a pair of Field Tested Specialist Gloves Field Agent and a Field Tested Survival Knife Blue Steel. There are a few different agents who have the rubberized clothing, but Ava is the only one in the game with this blue color. And even though there are quite a few blue gloves in the game, the Field Agents are easily the best pair to match with these sleeves. The dark blue tones match extremely well together and the bright yellow contrast looks amazing too. I wanted to choose a knife with a black handle and for this specific combo, I wanted to keep it as budget friendly as possible, so I went with a survival knife. Unfortunately, they did somewhat ruin the blue steels in a recent update, but even so, the dark blue color matches the rest of the combo quite well. You can pick this combo up for right around $300. The next combo is a classic. We have Michael Cyphers with a pair of field tested driver gloves Imperial Plaid and a minimal wear Ursus knife Ultraviolet. As you guys probably know by now, I absolutely love purple, and this sleek two tone combo is one of my favorites in the game. Not only does the black blade of the knife match the black rubber sleeves perfectly, but the dark purple handle matches the purple leather of the gloves. The color contrast between the gloves and knife make the purples pop, and for under $500 you really can't go wrong. Next up we have the FBI SWAT operator with a pair of minimal wear driver gloves racing green and a field tested flip knife lore. Continuing down the list of the rubber sleeved agents, the FBI SWAT operator is the only one which features this vibrant green color. To be honest, other than in this exact combo right here, I'm not a fan of racing greens whatsoever, but when paired with these sleeves and a lore knife, these look amazing. The seamless green interconnectivity between all three items makes for a look like no other in the game. On top of this, the bright yellow blade of the lore adds the necessary amount of pizzazz needed to make this combo stand out. Shockingly, this combo can be yours for around $350. The next combo we have is Marcus Delro with a pair of minimal wear Moto Gloves 3rd Commando Company and a field tested flip knife Autotronic. Marcus Delro is the last agent featuring rubber sleeves and is actually quite similar to the one we just covered. The only difference is the shape of green used. I almost decided to group these two together, but I figured why not give him a category of his own. Not to mention, the color of the third commando gloves matches so well with these sleeves that I was excited to show you guys this combo. On top of the beautiful green match, I decided to go with an autotronic to match the red on the gloves. I specifically chose the flip knife as the thickness of the red is the most similar to that of the stripe on top of the glove, making it seem as though the red streak is continuous across the screen. This combo can be yours for under $400. The next combo on this list is the USAF version of 2x McCoy with a pair of field tested specialist gloves forest DD pat and a field tested stiletto knife forest DD pat. This is actually the first sleeve style that features two agent options, but USAF 2x McCoy is the cheaper of the two. Also, the other option, which is the SEAL Team 6 Soldier, actually has ever so slightly different sleeves, but I didn't think it was enough to deserve a group of its own. That being said, I know many people aren't the biggest fans of camo in CS2, me included, but this combination is an exception. Not only do the browns greens and tans all match near perfectly, but the camo patterns are so similar that it almost seems like the skins were made with this combination in mind. This is also one of the cheapest combos on the list, coming in at a very budget-friendly amount of less than $300. Next up we have the B-Squadron Officer with a pair of minimal wear driver gloves black tie and a flip knife vanilla. I'm not gonna lie, there are so many different camo styled sleeves on the CT agents and only so many options. I tried my absolute best to have the least overlap possible to give you guys as many different unique combinations as 
as I could, but this one proved quite difficult. Even so, I think this finished product looks quite good. The idea here was to match the dark black patches of the camo with that of the black leather on the gloves. I then took it one step further by not only matching the black and white blade with the gloves, but also matching the handle of the flip knife with the light green shades of the camouflage. Even though this proved to be one of the most difficult combos to make, I think it turned out quite good. The one downside is the higher price point of around $850. Next up is Agent Premiero Tenente with a pair of field tested Hydra Gloves Emerald and a minimal wear butterfly knife Boreal Forest. As I said, there are a lot of camo sleeves on the CT side, but these happen to be some of the brightest ones in the bunch. I specifically chose the butterfly as it has the thinnest blade, but some of the most visible bright green on the handle of any Boreal Forest knife. That bright green matches extremely well with the sleeves of this agent and the greens on the gloves too. An added bonus is that the more wear these gloves have, the more brown they become as opposed to the black and lower wears, which matches the brown shades on the camouflage. This combo can be yours for around $750. The next combination features Agent Buckshot with a pair of Minimal Wear Hydra Gloves Emerald and a Minimal Wear Kukri Knife Forest DD Pad. This sleeve style also features another option in the TACP version of 2x McCoy, and similarly to last time, these sleeves are ever so slightly different, but not enough to deserve their own separate categories. That being said, I thought the Emerald Gloves were the best fit and I specifically chose the Kukri to match, as I wanted as much different knife coverage as possible on this list, and the Kukri is one of few that features a large amount of bright green on the handle. This is a great combo that you can get for under $300. Next up we have Agent Blueberry's Buckshot with a pair of field tested Moto Gloves Cool Mint and a factory new flip knife Gamma Doppler Diamond Gem. These blue camo sleeves are some of the coolest in the whole game, and there were a few different glove options to choose from. I ended up going with the Cool Mints as I think the contrast between the light blue streaks and the dark blue knuckle pads match up quite well with the sleeves. I I also figured why not feature an awesome knife on this list too. This specific diamond gem pattern is a tier 1, which is pattern 48, but you can easily find some lower tier diamond gems at or around market price that look just as good. Next up is the 3rd Commando Company KSK Agent with a pair of field tested Moto Gloves 3rd Commando Company and a pair of field tested Shadow Daggers Lore. Okay, hear me out. I know the Shadow Daggers almost entirely ruin the point of having the sleeves at all, but I absolutely love this combo. If you look very closely, you can actually see that these gloves have yellow accents on the fingers, and the Shadow Dagger's lore are the only knife in the game that is all yellow. The rest of the combination speaks for itself. This is also a very rare case where a multicolored combo actually looks good. Not to mention, this is the cheapest combo on the list at under $200 total. Also, if you wanted, you could swap the daggers out for a different lore knife since the green handle would still look quite good, but you'd also be able to see more of the sleeves. I'm giving away this Minimal Wear MAC-10 Discotech. To enter, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave any comment. Also, make sure you steam trade links in your YouTube bio so I can send you the skin when you win. Back to the video. Next up is the D Squadron Officer with a pair of field tested driver gloves Diamondback and a bayonet vanilla. As I said before, some of these camouflage sleeves proved quite difficult to create decent looking combos with, but I think the final result of this one looks great. This dark brown camouflage sleeve style is extremely unique and I think the brown leather of the gloves matches it quite nicely. I also specifically chose the bayonet as the knife since the handle color matches the off-white color of the glove scales. The next combination features Aspirant Gender Marine Nationale with a pair of field tested Driver Gloves Lunar Weave and a field tested Nomad Knife Night Stripe. There are five different agents to choose from with these exact sleeves, but Aspirant is certainly the cheapest. At first glance, it seems as though a blue combination may be easy to find, but this sleeve style proved much more difficult to work with than you'd expect. That being said, I think the final product looks great. Not only does the teal color of the weave match closely with the sleeve straps and the knife, but the brown leather on the gloves is a near perfect match with the brown accents on the arm accessories. This is certainly a very unique two-tone combo that I have yet to see anywhere else. Next up, we have Agent Commander Dead Cold with a pair of Minimal Wear Driver Gloves Queen Jaguar and a Minimal Wear Classic Knife Night Stripe. First of all, the number one gripe most people have with Queen Jaguars is that they don't match anything, so I made it a priority to fit it into this loadout. Surprisingly, the beige leather of the gloves is almost an exact match with the beige arm pouch the agent is wearing. The blue blade of the knife also matches quite well with the blue tone of the sleeves, but the coolest part about this loadout is that I specifically chose the classic knife because when the character is performing the idle animation, it allows us to see the underside of the arm straps as well as the palm of the gloves which look so great together. This is also quite a cheap combo coming in at right around $250. Next up we have First Lieutenant Farlow with a pair of field tested Broken Fang Gloves Jade and a Battle Scarred Navaha Rust Coat. Firstly, Sergeant Bombson also has the same sleeves, but far 
yellow is a bit cheaper. That being said, if you're a fan of green, this may be the combo for you. Though there are quite few gloves in the game to match the washed out green color of these sleeves, I think we did the best we could with what we had. The jade gloves here ended up being the star of the show. In the light, the glare on the gloves provides a lighter green color that matches nicely with the sleeves, but the icing on the cake here is the rust coat finish to match the bronze accents of the gloves. I specifically chose a rust coat knife above a 0 .80 float since it becomes a brighter shade of brown now. If this combination is your style, it can be yours for under $200. Next up, we have the Biohaz Specialist with a pair of factory new Hydra Gloves Emerald and a factory new Flip Knife Damascus Steel. If you remember the combination with the Hydra Gloves from earlier, I mentioned that the wear matters a lot for the shade of the leather. Here though, I specifically chose a factory new pair as well as a factory new knife because of the shinier silver accents in these lower floats. Don't get me wrong, this would still be a good combination if you got the gloves and knife in higher wears since the glove leather matches the arm pouch and the green knife handle matches the sleeves, but the silver accents are the real cherry on top. This combination can be yours for less than $500. Next up we have Agent John Van Halen with a pair of field tested sport glove superconductor and a minimal wear karambit knife. If you want, you can also use the Chemhaz specialist as your agent, but keep in mind the sleeves of these two agents are very slightly different. Up until this point, I tried my best to do super budget friendly combos, but for this one I said screw it and balled out. And I'm glad I did because the bluish gray theme of this combination is like no other on the list. Don't get me wrong, I could never justify the $3,000 price tag, but that doesn't take away from the fact that I think it looks amazing. Next up, we have Lieutenant Treehugger Farlow with a pair of minimal wear driver gloves convoy and a minimal wear talon knife Boreal Forest. Similar to the Queen Jaguars from earlier, one of the main complaints about convoys is that they don't match with anything. And that is also what I thought until I saw this combo. If I didn't know any better, I'd be convinced that this agent was made to match these gloves from the very beginning. The light browns look amazing together and the Boreal blade of the knife really ties everything together. I specifically chose the talon so the blade was on the right side, not interfering with the light browns, but you could make this combo significantly cheaper if you chose any other knife with a Boreal Forest finish. Next, we have Lieutenant Rex Crikey with a pair of field tested Bloodhound gloves charred and a field tested Huntsman knife Autotronic. There are only two sleeveless CT agents and Rex Crikey is the cheaper of the two. Realistically, with a sleeveless agent, you can make any glove knife combination you want look good. So for this one, I just decided to throw in an amazing low budget bonus glove knife combo for you guys. The charred gloves are some of my absolute favorite cheap gloves in the game and the autotronic knife finish pairs amazingly with them. I specifically chose the Huntsman as it features the black handle, but is still quite cheap in higher wares. This combo can be yours for under $300. What do you think about this budget combo? The last combination on the list is Commander Frank Wet Socks with a pair of field tested sport gloves and knocks and a field tested skeleton knife blue steel. There is one other agent in Commander Davida Goggles who features the same wetsuit sleeves, but she is a bit more expensive. I struggled with this combination for a long while, and to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of the result. I personally think sport gloves look more aquatic, but I wanted to keep this list as budget friendly as I could. I ended up going with the Nox in a blue steel to keep the blue and black two toned theme present throughout. If you wanted to lower the price even further, you could swap out the skeleton knife for something cheaper as well. Alright, boys, that's that's gonna be it for this one. I know I said it a few times already, but these CT agents proved to be very hard to create good looking unique combinations for. That being said, let me know your honest opinions about the combinations I showed today in the comments below. I'll catch you in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, YouTube thinks you'll like this one too. Oh yeah, and YouTube told me 75% of you aren't subscribed yet, so go thumb wrestle that subscribe button down below.